Hi, my name is Jonathan Lewis. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, my name is Jonathan Lewis. I'm also with the Providence Democratic Socialists of America. And uh, I read some of the comments. I'm sorry, spell your last name, please. L E W I S, not like the city. Um, uh, regarding dockets 4770 and 4780 um, by uh, Mr. Robert Hebert, um, wherein he attempted, and, and, and to tell you the truth, I think he actually did a pretty good job of explaining to you guys, you, you asked some pretty good questions about why it was that National Grid needed to take 10 cents of every dollar that it took in and hand it to shareholders who got that money by virtue of having the money to give them. And he made the case that they had to do this, National Grid had to do this, because if they didn't, they wouldn't be competitive in um, the capital markets asking these people for money that they could use as equity. I think he made a fantastic case for why National Grid should not be a privately owned and controlled firm. If National Grid was a public institution instead, then everybody could pay at least 10% less and nobody would lose, except for the shareholders, who are now sucking money out of our communities, out of everybody here, out of everybody who pays National Grid for gas or electric here in Rhode Island and everywhere else they're forced to do that. Thank you.